Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. Sorry I'm late this morning. I slept late and then we had to go to the bank and while we were out we thought well let's get something for breakfast. And Joy was hungry and she usually isn't. So we went by Buck Store and uh, after this I'll be I guess after this yeah because I'm going to have to wait to walk. It's cold out there. Um, after this I did, a, I did a drive with us to the bank and to uh, Buck Deli. So that's what we were doing. So I'm a little late. I apologize, but it snowed overnight and it's uh, kind of, it's not the roads aren't covered, you know, but my, our yard of course is, and of course my garden is, which I'll show you later on when it warms up. So on a prayer request today, uh, mm -hmm. Sandra has family going through a rough time right now. Uh, Elsa had brain surgery on Wednesday. Pray for healing. Her surgery went well. A fellow YouTuber's son is in the ICU fighting for his life. His parents are wrecked because they can't see him. Michelle Bridges' mother is in the hospital. Uh, Wendy would like us to pray that the pandemic will be over soon. And uh, Tammy Slayton has pneumonia and COVID. She's home now and feels better some. Uh, Danielle Rogers has an unspoken request. Pat Cole has been feeling bad. Pray she feels better soon. Uh, Lori Lee has an unspoken request. Robin Sadowski is sick with an upper respiratory infection. Pray she's better soon. Joanne's mother has a cold and is sick. Pray that it's all that's all it is and she recovers. Bonnie Jeffers is having a CT scan today. Uh, she has some inflammation. Pray the results show that she doesn't need surgery. Uh, she also has Crohn's disease like I do. And we talked quite a bit on Messenger yesterday about it. And she's been through as much or more than me. Uh, she's had four uh, re reattached uh, when she was reattached. I think they call it a resection. Um, she's had four of them. Okay. Um, so let's pray she doesn't have to have any more surgery. You know, after so many of them, you just like, it, you, you don't know what to think. You know, when you keep having surgery after surgery. And, you know, I know I've had 14, so. Okay. Marisol needs prayer for her household. It's possible they could get COVID and they have two grandbabies there. I think that was it. So we got quite a few prayer requests. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Job. 2, 11 through 13. When Job's three friends, Elipaz and Temanite, Bildad the Shulite, and Zop Zophar the Namathite, I can't really pronounce these, heard about all the troubles that had come upon him, they set out from their homes and met together by agreement to go and sympathize with him and comfort him. When they saw him from a distance, they could hardly recognize him. They began to weep aloud, and they tore their robes and sprinkled dust on their heads. Then they sat on the ground with him for seven days and seven nights. No one said a word to him, because they saw how great his suffering was. Starting a new daily bread. That's what I use, our daily bread. Starting a new one today. Hot coffee's good this morning. And uh, today's is entitled Being There. When Jen, a theme park employee, saw Ralph collapse in tears on the ground, she rushed to help. Ralph, a young boy with autism, was sobbing because the ride he'd wanted, waited all day to enjoy had broken down. Instead of hurrying him to his feet or simply urging him to feel better, Jen got down onto the ground with Ralph validating his feelings and allowing him the time to cry. 
Jen's actions are a beautiful example of how we can come alongside those who are grieving or suffering. The Bible tells of Job's crippling grief after the loss of his home, his herds, his income, his health, and the simultaneously deaths of his ten children. When Job's friends learned of his pain, they set out from their homes to go comfort him. Job sat on the ground in mourning. When they arrived, his friends sat down with him for seven days, saying nothing because they saw the depth of his suffering. In their humanness, Job's friends later offered Job insensitive advice. But for the first seven days, they gave him the wordless and tender gift of presence. We may not understand someone's grief, but we don't need to understand in order to love them what love them well by simply being with them. Who has been with you in difficult times? Who needs your presence today? God, I thank you for being with me always in good times and bad. Help me to offer that gift of presence to those you put in my path. And, and you know, uh, I'll tell you this in a minute, but Lord, I want to pray today for everyone, you know, in, in the prayer list, Lord. Please help all of them with their problems and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In Lord's name I pray, amen. And you know, when it says presence, you know, these days, you, you're, you can't go just visit anyone, you know, uh, and be close to them, you know, physically. But, you know, you can also be close to them by talking to them. Talking to them on the phone, messenger, Instagram, any text message, any way, you know, and they'll, they'll, they'll feel your presence. So that's like, that's like a, for today, the way things are, you know, uh, before COVID, I'd say, yeah, go visit everyone, you know, but you can't, especially if they're in the hospital, but you can sure give them your support and, and talk to them. And that'll mean a lot. So, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait a little while, and also today I'm going to do the preview of the review. So, look for that, and then tomorrow will be Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. So, I'll uh, get things together for that and be able to show you that later, and then I'll upload... Uh, I'll, pr I'll probably go ahead and if it's still real cold out it was like 28 if it's still real cold out I'll go ahead and upload the one where we went out to drive with us and then I'll wait a little while uh, to do the uh, walk with me so tune in for that later on everybody I appreciate you watching so much have a great day God bless